Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about deploying AWS SAM applications with GitLab CI/CD pipeline. So here these are the table of contents. So first we are going to discuss prerequisites and then installing dependencies pack dependency packages and then setting up AWS SAM application and GitLab. Uh, and these are the steps and then the conclusion. So if you can see this is the flow diagram. So here first you can see the develop uh, developer workflow. Here a developer writes code and pushes it to GitLab, and then GitLab triggers a CI/CD pipeline which automates the build, testing, and deployment process. And then the GitLab CI/CD pipeline deploys the application using AWS SAM, which is a framework for building serverless applications on AWS. And you can see this is the AWS cloud. So here the API gateway routes HTTP requests to AWS Lambda functions. And then AWS Lambda processes request signed executes backend logic. Here S3 bucket. Here S3 bucket stores static assets or other application related data. Here other AWS resources could include databases, uh, authentication services or monitoring tools. So here this is the user interaction. So here users access the deployed application via an independent URL exposed by API gateway. So here. So AWS server app serverless application model, which is SAM, uh, simplifies the deployment of serverless application on AWS. Automating this process with GitLab CI/CD ensures uh, consistent, repeatable, and efficient deployments. This guide walk you through. Uh, setting up a GitHub CI/CD pipeline to deploy an AWS SAM application covering prerequisites and setup. So first, let's discuss the prerequisites. So before setting the uh, GitHub CI/CD pipeline, so ensure you have the following. So first one is an AWS account with necessary permissions. Uh, second, the AWS SAM CLA installed, and then the last one is the GitLab, uh, GitLab repository. So here first, let's uh, install dependency packages. So first I'll install the unzip for installing the AWS SAM CLA. So now I'll install the AWS SAM CLA. So here after installing the AWS SAM CLA, Let's set up AWS SAM application and also the GitHub, uh, GitLab. So first, let's initialize a new AWS SAM project. So first, I'll go to the GitLab and I'll create the new repository here. I'll give the name of the repository as AWS. I'll select public and click on create project. So we got the repository here. So now let's set up a fresh AWS SAM project by using the SAM init command. So AWS SAM CLA is installed. So let's use this SAM init command. So here we have to select some options like I'll select the option one, which is AWS quick start templates. Now I'll select the hello world example. So here I'll use the most popular runtime, which is Python 3.13. So yes. So here I'll use no for all these things. So the application name will be Sam app. So press on enter. You can give whatever name you want there. So the application is created. So let's go into the application. So here, these are the things in the application. So we got hello world here. So I'll show you the code. So this is our hello world program. So you can see this is our required output. So now let's configure GitLab CI CD. So let's create a dot GitHub CI dot YML file in your repository root. So here. In this root directory, I'll create the pipeline code. So for that, I'll 
to dot gitlab ca dot yml so here i have a pipeline code for that so here you can see this is my pipeline code <laughs> So I'll paste this here. So here you can see there are two stages in this pipeline. First one is build and the second one is the deploy. So I'll save this. So now let's configure the access and secret keys here. So I gave the pipeline code. Now let's configure GitLab CICD variables. So which are nothing but access and secret keys of the AWS account. So here go to the settings, in the settings go to CICD, so here go to variables, so in this click on add variable, so give the key as AWS access key ID and the value we give my access key ID here. So now I'll add another variable which is secret keys. So I have both access and secret keys here. So now We'll push the code to GitLab now. So before doing that, we have to turn on the force push here. So go to settings, go to repository. Here go to protected branches and the turn on allowed to force push. So after turning this on, now let's push the code to the GitLab. So I'll use git init. So now let's add local repository to the GitLab repository. Now I'll add and commit. So now let's push the code. So my username is this. And I have to give the GitLab token. So here the code is moved to the GitLab. So if you reload here, you can see the code and this is the pipeline code which we gave just now. So here if you can see the pipeline is already started. So let's see. So here we have two jobs. One is build and another one is deploy. So let's go to the build now. So it would mostly take like 50 seconds or one minute. So let's wait for that. So here the build is done. If you reload here. You can see the build is done. Now let's go to the deploy. <clears throat> so for the deployment, it will take like more than one minute. So let's wait and see. Here you can see it in the full screen view also.
so here the resources are creating like lambda function api gateway and the stacks in the cloud formation so here it configured both access key and secret keys and the aws region i gave as ap south one So here the artifact is successfully uploaded to the S3 bucket, which is managed by managed by the AWS SAM. So we don't need to create any S3 bucket for this. It will manage the S3 bucket. So here you can see. So here the stacks are creating the API gateway, the Lambda function. So the deployment is done. You can see the here the deployment is done. So if we want to access the application, there is a link given by using the API gateway. So let's click on this. So here you can see this is the required output which is allowed. So we now we access the application. So now so we can check the stacks in the cloud formation here. Go to the cloud formation. Here you can see two stacks are created. You can check the timeline also here. So not only the stacks, but you can see the API gateway also. So this is the API gateway. And also the Lambda function. So this is our Lambda function with API Gateway. So this is our Hello World code. So you can see the runtime is Python 3.13, which we selected earlier. So we can access the application from here also by going to API Gateway. Here we got the endpoint link. So by clicking on that, we can access the application here. So here if we want to delete the entire application, no need to delete everything one by one. So by deleting just these two stacks, everything will be deleted. So if you check here, the Lambda function is gone and also the API gateway. So here you can see everything got deleted. So here you can see, you can see it as forbidden, which means the application is deleted. So we remove two stacks, so the application is deleted. So in the conclusion, by following this guide, you have successfully set up GitHub CI CD pipeline to automate AWS SAM application deployment. 
So you can easily deploy, test and update your serverless application with GitLab CI/CD, improving efficiency and reliability in your development workflow. So this is about deploying AWS SAM application with GitLab CI/CD pipelines. So that's it for today. Oh so yeah, thank you.